Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 143 of Let's Platinum and 100% Neo. Alright, uh, today I really wanted to do The Last Samurai, which is the final main mission of the game, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead, I'm going to go farm for the Saratobi's Gunsticks. Now, I'm, I'm doing it in a very particular way, I've made a whole bunch of preparations that I'm going to show off right now. Uh, first thing, oops. That's not what I meant to do. First thing I want to do is I actually want to buy, I can't believe I haven't bought it yet, but I want to buy the Earth Talisman uh, in Onmyo. So let's buy that because I'm pretty sure Saratobi is weak to Earth. Um, I can just quickly check that. I just didn't want to go in here to remove any of the... There we go. Yeah, he's weak to Earth. Cool. Um, so I want to buy that. I also want to change my Guardian Spirit. So I've been doing this for a little, like I did a lot of practice and I think um, item drop rate is better than uh, equipment drop rate. It may seem a little bit like um, uh, counterintuitive because like a, a weapon would be considered a piece of equipment, but I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure item drop rate is what you want. Uh, so let's put, I guess we'll put Sersha on yeah, because she has the most luck as well. Uh, yeah, let's put Sersha on. So Sersha will be my secondary gu uh, guardian spirit. Um, I think like this is what we're looking at here. So whenever you put a primary guardian spirit with another one, it seems to give different effects like based on what you have. So you can see how many different types of effects I can get there um, when I change spirits. And then the same thing here, you get different ones for combining two guardian spirits. Um, I think both of them are enhanced up to level 30. We can actually technically go to level 40, but um, it's quite expensive for right now. Uh, yep, so she's level 30. And lastly, we want to change this Kadama Blessing to weapon drop rate. So that's good. And last thing we want to do is change our gear. So let's go equipment. Uh, I've just marked everything that I'm going to change. So human item drop rate. Uh, let's put this one here that has uh, item drop rate as well. Uh, this nun barn here has human item drop rate. Uh, this one is actually, it's already got it on the, the piece of gear that I have. And then this last one here, young blood armor, um, uh, has got it as well. So I my defense has lowered a little bit. Um, my equipment weight's still good. And I'm also going to add, I have these two really good ones. I have this one, which has 21.3% human item drop rate. So fans have drop rate. And then I actually have this fan as well, which has 21.1% and an extra 4.6% item drop rate. And it gives a um, Onmyo magic bonus to, or duration bonus to wind talisman, which is pretty cool, but even though we're not going to use it. So now we'll have a look how much... Uh, Item drop rate, I should have checked before as well. Item drop rate is at 17.9% and human item drop rate is at 104%. Beautiful, so that's really good. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show this off once and then after I show it off, I will just, um, uh, I'll just uh, cut until I actually get the weapon. So I'll keep doing it over and over again off screen and cut until I get the weapon because I would really, I really want to get this weapon um, before we move on to the final mission. I, I think it's going to be a really big benefit. I'm going to try... Oh, I forgot to change a few things. Uh, shouldn't be too bad, actually. Oh, no, I don't think I even did. So we're just going to run. Put your... Um, your... Uh, what's it called? I forget now. Uh, give me a second. Um, Kekai. Put your Kekai talisman on and your uh, recovery talisman as well. Stop here. Go, if you try and run past there, it'll just like, it'll just get you. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, made it, okay. You can make it there and then activate it again. And is where I might get wrecked. Nice, not bad. Heal, dodge, dodge, so you can get rid of the fire. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oops, wow. That's, I've literally done this so many times. Uh-oh. Oh, this is not good. This is really, really bad. Maybe I can still do it. Come on, okay. 
Phew, boy. I was gonna say, I was like, that's gonna be real bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, bad, bad Leroy Brown, and now I know who sings that. Jim Croce. The reason I know that is because a few, like about a month ago, I was watching uh, Stranger Things for the first time, and I was like, wow, I love this show, it's really, really great. And uh, they, um, he had a song, or they play a song in the series called You Don't Mess Around With Jim. And I forgot to change, god damn it, I forgot to change the lightning talisman to Earth. I'll just put the Earth amulet on, okay. Um, oh god. What? Do I have paralysis on my weapon? Since when? Itakuri? Maybe Itakuri's got it, okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just try this. They have a song called You Don't Mess Around With Jim, and it's by Jim Croce, who unfortunately died when he was around 30, which is the age I am now. Scary. Okay. Not the age I am at the time of recording, I should say. Uh, okay. This shouldn't take too long. He's. I think I probably would have been better off um, putting it on my obliterating tonfa. So he is weak to earth, but... Um, what he's really weak to is your is um, breaking his key. There we go. And I'm gonna use my KK again. One, two. Use the steel talisman. Yeah. So this does take a little while. I'll probably try. I'll see how Tonfa goes with this as well. Taking a little bit of paralysis damage. Watch out for wild lions there. No! Oh, that's not good. Alright, we're good. Apparently I have a decent amount of defense. Okay, watch out for this. Just block, and then as soon as you... Uh, this could be bad. Not only is it taking a while, but... Yeah, I think I should use my uh, Tonfa. Let's try and quickly switch to it. So the reason I want to use Tonfa is because it's just insane. Oh, I ran out of Keke though. That sucks. One, two. When he does Wild Lions, you have a really good opportunity to attack him. Come on. That's it. Oh, I did not expect to pull that move off, or to do it, but let's heal up. If I can get it on the first go, that would be amazing. And it would somewhat prove my theory, because I did a lot of practice. Okay. Oh god. I didn't even end up using, I mean, I used the Earth Amulet, but I didn't have it for long enough. Please. Okay, there we go. Did I get it? Ah, oh, I got it, but it, uh, only in, um, in blue. Damn. Okay, that's fine. So what I'll do is I'm going to do this again, um, and I'll cut to me, like, just, you know, when I get it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and as a sort of more credence to my theory, uh, I the very next um, one that I did, I got, I got the drop finally. So here they are, Saratobi's Gunsticks in Divine. So let's have a quick look at those. Also, just so you know, I wasn't recording, but I got the Crusher title and I got the Traveler title all in one go. Look at that, four points right there. Um, let me have a look here. So this is, I think, yeah, there's the Traveler title. Holy crap. And I still could have gone faster because um, I had to, like right at the end, I had to put the Earth Talisman on. So I probably could have saved like another two seconds. It was a really good fight. Um, so let's get, I guess let's just do on me magic power and what did we get here? So we got the traveler title, oh no, we got, sorry, crusher title, which is 60 and we got dominator as well, forbidding him five times. Fantastic. Holy crap. That's insane. Okay. Item drop rate, key, toughness, and maybe gold earned. All right. Fantastic. Gosh, that's a lot. All right. So let's see what kind of, what ability we got on the on the Tonfa. Where is it? 
It was only, oh, I was gonna say it's only level 150. No, it's 150 plus three. Okay, fantastic. Okay, parry is not great, but the rest is fine. Skill damage is pretty good. Yeah, ton for gun, there you go. I can finally show that off. A weapon fitted with an explosive device. This is required to perform a special ton for skill. So I can finally show that off. Actually, maybe I did show it off. But uh, so if you go square, 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 triangle, and then press triangle again, you get that. And if you do this, that is the wrong one, sorry. And if you're on mid sense, you go one, two, three, four, boom, at the end of a combo. Um, you just have to make sure that, let me have a look, high stance. So I think it's Crimson Lotus and Devastation. Th those are the only two that will provide you with um, Heavenly Chain. What's Heavenly Chain here? Yeah, yeah. So Crimson Lotus and Devastation are the only two that will allow you to perform the, the actual um, explosion. But uh, yeah, they're still really good. All right, excellent. Finally, we got them. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna now try and, well, I'm gonna put my gear all back the way it was, and I'm gonna try and power up these, um, these gun sticks and see what I can, what kind of things I can do with them. Uh, because yeah, they're gonna, you, you watch, they, they are gonna come in handy. I've been playing a lot with the Tonfa and they're just really, really good. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just sell, hang on, let's do a few things first, one thing at a time. So change this back to Kato, and for some reason I had Daibowashi, oh yeah, because Kai, Kai, Kai recovery speed, key recovery speed, whatever. Uh, ready Jutsu, what do I need for the last one? Probably Earth, to be honest, yeah, let's keep Earth. Uh, the rest is all good. Uh, blacksmith. Let's go buy. Anything here? Nope, nothing good. Oh, maybe fan. No, nothing good. Sweet. Um, what's this? What smithing text did I get? Ah, oh, the black fox mask. That's right. I remember now. Oh, and I got something else. Tokugushi apparel. Let me have a look. Yeah. All right, cool. That's fine. Ninjutsu life drain. Source health in proportion to the base damage you deal with Ninja 2. Hmm. It's like, okay, but no, I don't think it's that good. Um, all right, so let's have a look. What can we reforge onto our Tonfa? So I want to get rid of, yes, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of this. Yeah, we'll get rid of those two. So, oops, what I'm looking for is like a, um, Probably earth. Like, I don't think I want to settle for anything other than earth. Poison's good. Grapple damage, eh. Actually, grapple damage might be alright. Skill key damage. Okay, beautiful. Earth. I'm so glad I got that. And then earth damage might be alright, actually. If I see anything... Wait, actually, before we do this. Is there anything I can get here? No. Oops. Skill, skill break is not bad. I would really like earth damage. Break is pretty good too. Grapple damage is alright. Skill key. Come on, give me earth damage. Killing strike. Hmm. Nah. It's not that great. Increased damage consecutive attacks is alright. Wow, that grapple damage was high. If I get a grapple damage of that high again, I might keep it. As much as I like earth damage. Wait, close combat attack enemy muddied. That's pretty good too. Mid attack life drain, skill break. Ah, fire damage. On my practice file, when I got like that fire damage or like one of the alternatives, I did it a few more times and it uh it gave me the other ones, but I don't know if that's gonna be the case here. I have to do this so many times. Sometimes you get lucky, like I, like with Earth, I got very lucky to get that straight away. I am running oh there we go, lightning damage weapon. Let's keep going, keep going. Come on. 
There we go. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. That's one of the weaker ones, but yeah. Anyway, we can change it later on if we need to. Uh, okay, I'm going to do some soul matching. Uh, what was I doing last? Oh, I must have just finished something. So, purchase, forging. Forging cost discount would be okay, but I don't think it's that worthwhile. I think probably the best one to go with is disassemble to obtain rare materials. That can be useful. So every time I disassemble like exotics and stuff, that's good. Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll do... Yeah, we're going to get rid of everything rare or below. Going to do the same for this, rare or below. Hang on. Ah, oh, there mustn't have been anything. Okay, uh, and then we're going to get rid of... Oh, sorry, disassemble. And I just realized if you go to this one, you can actually do the armor and the weapons all in one go. Uh, oh, wait. Or is it this one? Must be this one. Yeah, sorry, this one. Uh, there we go, 44. Nice. Gets rid of a lot of stuff. All right, I'll do some soul matching, but I've got to take care of something, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's change my gear back to what it was. So uh, I've got to put locks on those. Okay, that one, uh, that one. Uh, this one, that one was good, and this one. All right, cool. So I've got all my gear back the way I wanted it. Just want to check all these. Beautiful. Okay. And yeah, we got Saratobi's gun sticks now. Kusanagi. Let's put the Yasakani. I think I've only got one. After all this time, I still only have one. I cannot believe that. Like, I'm not even joking. Hang on, let me... Um, I think this was the one I had. I can't remember. None of them are particularly amazing. Probably gonna have to get rid of a lot of these soon. Uh, was it that one, maybe? Sense enemies. Whatever I do, I need sense enemies. Yeah, I got it on the Yasukani. Okay, cool. Um, now, the thing is, I don't have much time left, but let's try and power up the Saratobi's gun sticks. So... We can go to the blacksmith, soul match. So let's start, oops, not armor, weapon. So let's get the, the Saratobis. Let's match them with, I mean, why not just start from, yeah, let's just do it. So let's go, uh, yep, that's good. All right, yep, okay, let's do this one. So now it's gonna be a plus four. Now, do we have anything? Yes, we do. Let's get our Saratobis. And yeah, why not? It doesn't really matter which one we use. I'll have to eventually get the... Let me just say something. Yeah, you could do that. Interesting. Should I do that? I should have done a plus three. That's what I should have done. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So now that it's plus five, we've got to get it a little bit higher. But in order to do that, we need... What if we do this and this? That way we get the obliterating tonfa. Yeah, let's do it like that. That way we get the obliterating tonfa at level four. And now if we do this and this, yep, obliterating tonfa level five. Now the problem is we can't actually get the effect to switch over because, yeah, I guess it would have been the same thing. Parry would have gone over to this one uh, because we need to fill it up on familiarity. So that's fine. We'll do that later. Um, so let's start by just get Angie's, make a plus one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't want to do it because that won't be a plus one. I can get rid of these actually. Let's get uh, Uatakas and put a Rosewood on there. Cool. And it doesn't really matter. Like, I don't have to use that particular... Uh, what is it? Like, the change to attack dexterity. It's a decent one, but I don't have to use it. 
could use something else. Uh, oh, uh, let's do. Now, I think regardless of what you do. Oh no, it has to be the the material. So, for example, this one here is a soul matching uh, cost reduction of 70 percent. If I used it as my base and then applied it as a, oh sorry, yeah, use it as my base and then applied a material, I would still have to pay the same amount. However, if I use a different one as my base and then apply that one as my um, material, then the, the cost gets reduced. Okay, and now we'll go. But obviously, you lose it in that case. Yeah, let's keep the twin dragon tonfa. Uh, let's do these two. Yeah, I'm going to be doing this for a little while. At least for the remainder of this episode, and then I'll figure out what to do after that. Okay, let's get... Yeah, why not? There's actually not that many Tomfer in the game, which is kind of crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, so I can't do anything else. So I guess what I could do is I will do... Uatakas, and then I'll put like a plus three. This one here also works. Yeah, it's fine. And then we'll go here, and we'll do Uatakas, Ebony Tomfa, put them together, and now we have uh, this one. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Obliterating with Uatakas to make a plus six. And Saratobi's with twin to make a plus six. And then I will try and increase the familiarity of this one to apply the effect here. And that will be good. Uh, you know what, let's do that right now. So Saratobi's is on. All we have to do is use... We've got so many and we'll get more later. Oh, I never used those. Now the only problem is, what color are they? Wet stones, there we go. So let's use how many it tells us to, seven. And so now, have I done that right? No, I haven't. I'm an idiot. I have not done that. I've done that completely wrong. I was supposed to put on the, where are they? Oh, there. I was supposed to put these on and then use it. Oh well. It's like I said, it's not a big deal. We're going to be getting plenty of wet stones. Like, we'll still have plenty of wet stones. I never use these, so it's just for mild convenience. Uh, so now we'll put Saratobis on. They have a little bit more damage, those other ones, but now we're actually going to see. Oops, not armor. Keep picking the wrong one. So here we go. I guess I'll put that ability on because it's like, it'll give us more damage. So yeah, barely a little bit more damage. And plus seven. Boom. Uh, yes. I was like, I should check if I did that right, but whatever, it worked. Fantastic. All right, so now we've got a Saratobi's Gunsticks at plus seven, which is actually even higher than our Kusanagi. Kusanagi can probably go one more. I'll figure it out later on. I don't want to do too much more. I want to see if I can get past like this, um, because it'll just make life so much easier. In terms of the money and stuff, I mean, we'll be getting so much money later. And then I've got to disassemble a bunch of gear as well, so I think we'll leave it like that. We've already gone long on this episode. Uh, Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 143 of Let's Platinum in 100% Neo. My name is Ultima456, here are the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.